We all know that IntelliJ IDEA has great support for debugging Java applications. But while debugging any application, if you have a framework specific or library specific additional debugging capabilities, that would be a great help. Spring Debugger plugin is created to make it easy for uh, debugging Spring Boot applications. With Spring Debugger plugin, you have the whole Spring application context at your fingertips. Let's see Spring Debugger plugin in action. Here, we have a simple Spring Boot application to manage bookmarks. Let's understand a simple use case of creating a new bookmark. Here, for the given category name, if there is an existing category, we are going to retrieve it. Otherwise, we are going to create a new one. Once we have the category reference, we are going to set it to a bookmark and then finally save the bookmark. If you notice, in the category service start find by name, we are caching the uh, results for the given key. So if we are calling this method again and again with the same input, it is not going to be invoked uh, over and over again. Instead, it is going to return the results from the cache. So a very simple use case. Now let us start the application in debug mode and see how Spring Debugger plugin helps us in debugging this particular use case. So here I'm going to trigger this API endpoint to create a new bookmark. And we hit the breakpoint here. And usually while debugging, we are able to access any objects that are there within the scope. For example, we have bookmark repository, we have bookmark here, and also we have a reference to category service. And here in this expression uh, input box, we can use any of these variables that are currently available in this scope. But for example, we do not have a reference to category repository here. But this is where Spring Debugger plugin helps us. Imagine we are debugging a complex use case and we want to check some data or invoke some method on a different a Spring Bean which is not injected in the current class. So we usually cannot do that. But with Spring Debugger plugin, we can access any Spring Bean that is there in the application context. In this case, let's see if we can access category repository. So as you can see, as we type, it will show all the matching uh, beans that are available in our application context. Here I can access category repository and let me simply call a find all method. So here, as you can see, it uh, returned a array list result and here you can even explore and see the data in a tabular format. So that way you can not only access the objects that are there in the scope, but we can get a reference to any Spring Bean that is available in our whole application context. Now let's resume and see the breakpoint in category service uh, find by name method is hit. Now let's resume and a new bookmark is created successfully. Now imagine we are creating another bookmark with a different title and URL, but using the same category name. Let's invoke this API endpoint. And if I resume, you notice that the breakpoint in category service is not hit because it is cached and we are using the same key here, the same category name. So this breakpoint is not hit. Now let's proceed further. Now imagine a use case where I want to use the same category name, but I want to debug some logic in here. So obviously, if you are using the same category name, it is not going to hit. So what can we do? So let's see how Spring Debugger plugin can help us in this case. Let's go ahead and use a different title, or maybe a different URL, but using the same category name. And this time, I'm going to invoke this API endpoint. And as I mentioned, we can access any bin that is there in the Spring application context. Now, if you take a look at the uh, cache manager here, you can see there is a cache manager reference and we can see what are all the caches that are available. And if you take a look at, so here we can see there is one cache key category by name. Now imagine what we can do, get cache of category by name, I gave the name and we can call invalidate method. So now I call the invalidate method. Now I'm going to resume it. 
Now, as you can see, the flow hit this breakpoint in the category service because we have invalidated the cache and there is no entry uh, in the cache with name Spring. So we are able to do that. So the point is with Spring debugger plugin, you have all the power of having the application context at your fingertips and you can invoke any method on any Spring pane. That's going to be a great uh, help while debugging. Here, we can also have direct access to, if you are using, let's say, JPA, we can directly access Entity Manager as well. So here, let's say we want to uh, find category.class and with the primary key one. So here we can get a reference to the entity. So we can directly mm -hmm. use Entity Manager and also we can use environment so it provides a abstraction to all the uh, application properties. So you can get a specific property value. Let's say we are calling app.page size. So here you can see what is the current value of this property. So like that, you can use any Spring Bean that is available in your Spring Boot application context. The ability to access any Spring Bean is really helpful while debugging the application. Imagine you don't need to temporarily inject any bean so that you can simply call a method and then log and then finally once you figured out the issue, you need to remove all those temporary code changes. But with Spring Debugger plugin, you don't need to do all those changes. You can directly access any bean while debugging and you can explore what are the use case you want to explore. And also imagine a use case where if you are debugging a particular use case and for that you need to set up some test data and imagine only if an administrator can do certain action. So you have to log out and then log in as an administrator and then do that activity and then come back to this flow to debug further. But with Spring Debugger plugin, you can directly access a, let's say a service bin and provide whatever the data you need to uh, set up uh, test data for that use case and you can invoke any bean method to insert that data into database. You don't need to go ahead and log out and log in as an administrator and do that action. So this is how you have all the power of Spring application context at your fingertips while using Spring Debugger plugin. Now go ahead and install Spring Debugger plugin and explore its powers by yourself. Thanks for watching.